Hey guys, today's video is going to go through the GM Nightfall and how, like, really anyone can do it. It is one of the easier Nightfalls this season, and this week, specifically, April 11th through the 18th, will be double Nightfall rewards. So it's a good week to get in there and farm out some GMs and get some Ascendant Shards and some Hung Juries and other sorts of weapons. So to start it off, we have this opening area. It's just a bunch of ads, honestly. There's not much to do around here. There's two champions to deal with, one unstoppable, one barrier. Just mow through all the ads, kill the unstoppable, kill the barrier. And things to watch out for in this nightfall are Scorpius turrets, and there are five in the starting area. Here's two right here. So I'm gonna kill a champion and show you both the Scorpiuses you need to deal with while you're dealing with this champion. So we killed the first one a little bit ago, and the second one is right behind us, so we're just gonna shoot it down real fast. Now we're gonna skip to the other three, so uh, right behind this wall, or like the in the little, in front of the door where the barricaded area is, there's three Scorpiuses. You're gonna want to take them out as well as an Unstoppable. Be careful of him. So you saw me destroy all three, and now we have to deal with the Unstoppable. Once the Unstoppable dies and everything in the little barricade is dead, the door will open, spawning one more Unstoppable and the boss. I'd recommend killing everything but the boss first. The Unstoppable is kind of a threat if you let him get close to you. The boss shouldn't really deal with you that much as long as you're peak shooting. Don't let him spray his LMG at you. It does a lot of damage and he has a lot of health. So just tap him down once you kill everything else. And once he gets to AF, he has a mechanic where he pops up a shield generator, which is this big bubble you see. Be careful doing this. This causes a lot of teams to wipe. If the boss is staring at you, do not go in the shield. You have to make sure he's looking at a teammate or something, then go in, get a few bullets off, and leave. The second you step into the shield, he will look at you, so make sure he's looking away, and then get some damage off on the shield gen. Use this cover as an advantage, that's what I do every time, and my teammates uh, finish it off here, because the boss is shooting me behind cover. Next thing, you just need to finish off the boss, he has a lot of health, like I said, so just kill him, and then proceed on through the nightfall. Next room is this garage room after you like walk a little bit of ways and you can sit up top here honestly to kill most of the ads in this room but what my team and I do we're gonna drop down and first thing we're gonna do is kill these snipers on the left and right. These snipers do do a lot of damage so you need to get rid of them as fast as possible. Next thing to get rid of is the interceptors. They will one shot you so they need to die fast and then you can just start worrying about the champions and the yellow bars in the room. Once everything is dead these doors will open spawning two tanks and a bunch more ads. A bunch of majors will spawn champions, you just need to start killing them. The snipers will also respawn, I don't show them here, but you need to get rid of them again. So just kill all the champions, kill all the majors, and then you can start worrying about the tanks. Once the tank, one of the tanks dies, and you're left to one of them, and you get them low enough, or you kill all the majors, more adds will spawn, as you can see I wasn't ready for it. You just need to back up to the back of the room again, and start picking them off one by one again. I do think the snipers respawn, I didn't have to deal with them this time, my teammates did. Make sure they're dead, and then pick off the champions and the majors. Kill the tank last. The tank is a threat, but just dodges rockets and he can't kill you. Next up, you're going to run a little bit more, and then you're going to get to this room. This room has an unstoppable and a bunch of ads. Not really much to worry about. You just need to take everything out and then grab this ball. Once you grab the ball, do not take it in the room, just drop it. Kill all the ads in this room. There are two more Scorpiuses in here, one on the left and right of this thing. Take them out. And then once everything is dead in front of you, run into the room, kill this barrier. After the barrier dies, grab the ball again and then dunk it. Once you dunk the ball, the next room will spawn on the other side, or the next door will open on the other side of the room. Kill everything in this room. There's three more Scorpiuses. I killed them right here in this video. You can see where they are. Make sure they're dead. They will melt you. Kill everything in the room, grab the ball. Once again, drop it. And once you get close to the door, more ads will spawn. Just kill everything. And it's the same thing as the other side. Kill everything, run in there, kill the barrier, grab the ball again. Don't dunk the ball or even attempt to until everything is dead. And then once you dunk the ball, both are dunked and now you can move on on the strike. The front door will open and more ads will spawn. There will be two champions, one unstoppable, one barrier, and a ton of majors, like orange bar health phalanxes and stuff. After everything's dead, run into the room, step on this plate, go up to the uh, walkway to the boss room. Once you get in the boss, you what my team did, we can stay back here. You can stay towards the front of the room by the door, but we decided to come back here towards the boss because the fireballs are a non-threat back here. When he fires the fireballs, we can hide in the tunnel and they will hit the wall and they will die. You can just stand back here. Fireballs can't really hurt you because you can hide in the tunnel. Just keep damaging him. He has a lot of health. Shoot the fireballs when you can and just play it super super safe I, we were damaging with primaries till we got him to a third and then once he gets to a third two champions will spawn two unstoppables one on each side of the room 
So what you want to do is insta-kill the one on your side of the room and then just sit back and kill the other one when he comes over to you guys. The boss will be firing fireballs the whole time, just make sure you don't die to them. Next up, he has the shield gen. You need to destroy it. It's just like the first boss, but it's a little more like easier to destroy. The boss doesn't do as much damage, but he will be firing fireballs while you destroy it. Just maintain the fireballs. Once he, you kill them all, run in there, destroy the shield gen, and then back up to the corner again, damage him again, rinse and repeat. Get him to a third of his health. More champions will spawn. Insta melt them, deal with the fireballs. Just I can't stress this enough, be careful the fireballs. So fireballs are team wipers. The boss does move into a different spot when you get him to a third, he goes on top where he spawned. It's not that much more difficult, it's just the fireballs will be coming faster, so you need to make sure you're playing cover more so you can get rid of the fireballs. They do hit the side if you go under and you don't have to worry about them. We kill this champion without uh, ever shooting a fireball. Once we're done with the champion, we jump up after he fireballs again. The issue with the top is you need to wait for the boss to go on each side. So if the boss is on the left side, you need to go on to the right side. If the boss is on the right, go to the left. After you destroy the shield gen, it's just melting the boss. After you, like, just take out the boss's health, no more champion spawn. More adds will spawn, so if you want to play careful, kill the adds. And then watch out for fireballs and kill the boss. So, it's about that easy. Uh, if you guys need any more help, Ask me in the comments. The build I'm using is going to be right here at the top right if you want to use it for your runs. The loot is amazing. You should be farming it, and I wish you the best of luck. Subscribe to the channel for more, and I hope you guys have a good day. See ya.